Alright, David Silva here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to access a uh, folder off Dropbox. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with by seeing your Dropbox invite here in your email and you're just going to click on it. You may have to say show content as it may be blocked. And you'll see the invite down here where it says Dropbox. You can just click the view the grad folder. Now it's going to bring you to the dropbox.com and you're going to need to sign up. So I'm going to sign up under my name and then you would input your name and information in here. There's my email. I'll create a password really quick and create an account. Now you'll see right here that it's asking me, okay, so I've created an account. Now it wants me to download Dropbox. But you don't actually have to download it in order to view the photos. So if you want to view the photos without downloading the actual program, you can just click up here, back to home. And this will bring you to where your Dropbox files would be if you had shared any files or folders. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on files here and you're going to see that you should have a folder called photos that I have shared with you. And If you just click on that, you'll see that there's this album called Grad. And If you click on Grad, you then have access to all these files here. Now, to save them onto your computer, um, it's a little more complicated. Um, what you could do is you could open each file individually and save them this way. Or, uh, alternatively, you can click on this little box here and it'll check all the files. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on More Actions and then you're going to scroll down to download items and when you click that it should automatically start a download um, and will download them to your desktop or wherever your f files normally download to now it might have popped up with a box that said you know where would you like to save it uh, I'm sure you've dealt with that before so you can just choose where you'd like to save the photos and it should automatically save them all there and then you'll have them all on your computer so I'm just going to cancel this download because I don't need them again and uh, close that and that uh, completes the tutorial for how to view the photos. Um, I may be creating a video shortly to show you how to upload photos and share them, um, but for now I'll leave it at that.